Generic greetings and welcome back to Airships Conquer the Skies once again and everything is just fine and that's a lie. So in the previous episode I managed to take over one area as you can see on the top left here and hit and miss and the problem is really they've just got too much stuff so I think we need to knock them down a peg or two and I think the way of doing that is to probably get ourselves if we go over to um here we'll say build ship and we're gonna build no that's the wrong design ship we're gonna make a vessel that is built around the imperial cannon a really 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 big uh, weapon that will hopefully be able to take out a lot of the defensive structures that they have and they have many of them in fact they have multiple in each area normally so let's just have a quick look at the imperial cannon so Piercing damage is 400 and it uses 2 ammo per shot. The reload time is 10 seconds. Okay, so if we look at the, where is it, resources and ammo store. Ammo storage is 100 so you get 50 shots with that one. However, what if we just had a small one? 24. And that uses 2 ammo a shot every 10 seconds. 12 shots. Well, we could go for that and then have 24 shots, like that. That would be 24 shots if we did that and that. No, it wouldn't actually because you can't get access to it. That's a shame. Um, that and that. No. Hmm. It's got a lot of going up, but sadly you can't have it uh, go out as well. So what we'd have to do is have it so we have a couple of those. A small coal store. And do I want do I want to have this thing at a decent speed or not? Not really. I think I want to make it as cheap as possible. It's already going to be very expensive because of the Imperial Cannon. So is there any reason not to just sort of knock it up a notch by doing that? Not really. That that has more coal as well as um, sorry, more ammo and as well as it's relatively inexpensive. So we'll go with that one. We'll go with that one. Uh, we could however move it this forward a little bit by doing that and then putting a putting a corridor in there now, obviously we are connecting these two up which is generally quite dangerous but we'll uh, we'll do what we can in terms of command and crew we are going to put a crow's nest on the top there we do want a i think we'll just go for a cockpit i don't think anything else is really strictly necessary we'll have that in there and then we need uh, quarters i believe in fact what's it say here so minimum crew six recommended nine we haven't yet got the we haven't yet got the uh thing on the back yet that's six the uh the propulsion on the back we could do that, that'll give us nine. Then when you consider in terms of propulsion. Oh, we have actually we actually we haven't got a way of um, keeping this in the air, which is generally suboptimal. We'll go for our lift, and I sh I think we can just, just fit that in there, which is service ceiling 22 meters. Armor is only wooden on this one, so maybe it's best if I sort of put a bigger suspendium chamber in there. 200 meter service ceiling. Armor, if we go for a steel armor, fill that would be 1,100. That's not too bad. Um, and then what we do is probably go ahead and... I don't know, maybe have more corridors there. In fact, no, what we do is we rip that out. We've got one, two, three. Then we have a total of uh, nine air sailors. And then we just need... We just need propulsion, which we can have a propeller on the back if we wanted to, like that. And although an engine pod might be quite useful. Like that. Oh, that makes it really quick as well. But also quite expensive. What's a standard propeller, though? More expensive. I'm going to have an engine pod because it looks cool. I'm going to put it there. Near the back. Okay. More crew required, though, I believe. So I'll move that up. Put one there. Can't put fires out, which is a problem, admittedly, but... Could be worse, could be worse. So, recommended crew 14, actual crew 12. That's acceptable, acceptable. In terms of supply hatches, we need some. Um, supply hatch, reinforced supply hatch. There, that's it, done. That's it. So, I'm going to put a large mouth on the front because we haven't put one on. Yeah, yeah, go on then. We'll put that on there with an eye in there. And... have that 
is a it's probably a small nameplate. That'll be fine. Depending on what we call this. It was gonna call it the imp, and What's something that quite small but carries a packs a punch? Um Don't know. I like the idea of calling it the ant. <laughs> Gonna call it the ant. Server design, version one. Build that. Let's build as many as I can. Which admittedly is about three, I think, at this point. Let's try. Building as many as we can. Which is not that I'm building it at a small shipyard, which takes ages. So build ship, the ant. We're also going to see how fast these things are by coming from the right. Not terribly slow. I'll, I'll take not terribly slow. <laughs> um, okay. What I'm probably going to do is get these... Uh, I'm going to meet them up with gear bridge and then we'll go and assault something. So we'll send spies here. Yeah, they're, they're pretty good. I like, I like the speed of those. So they're currently just uh, switching their, their um, ships between different parts, you see. Uh, what I want to do is go to defences and make sure that we have uh, repaired that we haven't going to build. Build building, Black Citadel. Do at some point need to build something that's not like that. Garbage they are. Oh, I'm going for the dragons. That's fine. So I will view the city. They have two. That's too many to deal with for the time being. View city. Ooh, that's certainly too many to deal with. View city. Th oh my good grief. Three. Um... Recall the spies, recall the spies, send spy, recall spy. Looks like they've been, the dragons have been uh, taken out by whatever's there. I was about to look at them as well, but I can't. View the city, what have they got here? One and a bit, plus the building that. But they're also sending these defences down. I'm going to see what they are first. Not much because they're fast. One of those. Is that a fair fight? Not on your life, it's not. Okay, let's try this. Uh, they're attacking down the bottom left here. Don't know what I can do about it. So, as you can see, I've massively... Um, I was going to say overpointed them, but I haven't. Essentially, I, all I've done is just swamped a lot of ships here. So I'm going to place them all the way around here. Obviously, the bot fly is going to go forward. I didn't actually realise I made this many... Uh, this many of these. So we'll move these like so perhaps like that. Um, this one to there. I'm gonna get that to go actually I'm gonna move I'm gonna see if I can assault that one. Let's see if I can take that tank out. So we'll move it straight away to there. All of these are gonna be focused on that big thing at the back. I can move down to there before it gets taken out because it will get taken out because they've got two flak currently on it. So we need to drop as far as we can and then do a board. Here's the boarding. So we've got spiders, we've got crew and good job as well because we've just... Yeah, it looks like we're chiseling the top out of that one. <laughs> looks like we're going to have this vessel but it's sort of pointless because... Uh, well, it doesn't do anything anymore. It's uh, pretty much dead. At the back here, as you can see, we have taken huge chunks out of it actually. A bit at the top, a bit at the bottom there. Taken the foundations out and we are happily just... Uh, how are you just sort of picking away? These are on standard fire and they've got enough to really keep firing. Let's actually put them on rapid fire because we've got so much so much to fire with there. Look at the cannons. They're really inaccurate. They're going all over the place. But the advantage that we have is uh, really that when they do hit, they really do hit hard. Although the problem is now we might be, I wouldn't say out of range, but... We might just be too far away from them, so I'm going to move them around. I'm going to see if I can reposition these things. Um, obviously not very good command because of their bridges. Oh, they're not even bridges, they're just uh, 
the smaller version. They're just a cockpit. There we go. So we're still targeting that. They've got two uh, 400 piercing damage when they hit. So, yeah, as I said, when they hit, it's um, it's a bloodbath. I mean, it just takes it out. Pretty much just takes the part out that it hits. There you go. Look, you just put a clean oil straight into the into that thing. I'm going to knock the speed up because there's not much I can do here. Um, I didn't realise these guns were wildly inaccurate as they are. They're actually faring better than I thought as well. Mm. Bot flies aren't faring very well though. Hmm. See, this looks like it's got a lot of damage on it, but most of the damage is from the... is from the, uh... the pepper, sp the pepper shots, the, uh, the grape shots. That grape shot there. Looks like the... no, a couple of Imperial Cannons have been taken out there. I'm still hoping that I can win this. 44 ammo, and they're running low, but... I guess we'll go for aim shot and aim shot. Sadly, we haven't done a lot of damage. We haven't hit nowhere near as much as I thought. There we go. There's a couple of decent hits. There's another decent hit. Oh, yep. Yeah, that's definitely a good hit. It's uh, hit their ammo star by the look of it. In fact, yes, you can see what it is. It's up there. You can see the ammo on back. Looks like I have lost another vehicle, though. Yeah, it looks like one that was just blown up. We've only got two with guns left. Okay, I'm going to flee that. I'm going to flee because we didn't exactly win it, but I don't know if we completely lost it either. I mean, we did take a couple of bits out. At least you see what they're assaulting me with, uh, assaulting me with here. Small, small vessel, nothing to worry about. Considering what I've got, I don't think, anyway. I just put up to max speed. Well, it would be nothing to worry about if uh, they didn't shoot once and uh, blow the top off the uh, <laughs> the defensive structure. They're taking a lot of damage, though. I am as well, but I'm weathering it better than they are. Yeah, th that was a victory. No problem whatsoever. Right, so. Build ship. We're just going to build um, more ants, which we can't do because we are only. They're going to keep assaulting, aren't they? The reason they're assaulting this one, by the way, is because it's probably the least guarded at the moment. And also, it's a huge shipyard, so we can build things very quickly. They might turn around as soon as we build that. Yeah, they did. <laughs> um, what have we got in here in terms of defences? Defences, we have those two. Well, I'm going to pull back. Keep on building the ants. If we can have 10 or 12 ants, that would be useful. They're assaulting back to uh, Gearbridge. Which I'm not too worried about. Actually, I don't know what they've got. Oh, that's the... Oh! I don't think we've seen that before. Five Hazar Bears. One Flak. Rear Rifle. Forward First and Cannons 3. Alright, okay. Obviously, we'll target that. Um, what ammo have we got for these... Not a great deal. Aimed fire. So the Hazar bays are decent, but when the flak takes them out, I don't think they're going to last long with the flak we've got, quite honestly. Although I say that, they're really doing the number on these things. Look at that. Oh, there goes one. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we'll, we'll knock it up to max speed because there's no other orders I can give. They're going to go back to rearm and repair, you see. But uh, their, their mothership is taking a hell of a pounding. We've only got one Hazard. No Hazards. All the Hazards have been taken out. What they're trying to do, as far as I can tell, is get into um, an ideal position, which is pretty much where they are now, because you can see they're moving them down. So these three guns are not in arc. Uh, the flat cannons are taken out, but then, as you can see, uh, we've taken out the suspension chamber, and now we've just got six cannons absolutely plastering them. So that's another win. No problem there. And uh, the thing is, we're, we're destroying ships. The problem we have, though, is that they can replace this very, very easily. They've got so many resources. There's a win. Um, all we need to do, really, is keep building the ants. There we go. 
Um, yeah, they're going to assault there again. Let's see if I can take one of these over. Ew City. Three of them more. That's a land ship. I'll get the right button eventually. And one, two, three, four. Or four, five, six we've got. Looks like they're assaulting the left again there. Um, I wish there was an auto resolve. Oh, this could actually... Uh, this could actually go wrong for me because I didn't repair them. Yeah, I think I've lost that. That was incompetence at this highest order. Although, is that a ram vessel? That's a ram vessel with loads of flak. We've seen this one before. I can't remember when we seeing that one. There's the ram. Nope, nope, just chickened out. <laughs> Keeps moving back and forward and... Uh... Oh no, that's not a ram. That's an Imperial cannon. I thought it was a ram. It's the Imperial cannon. Okay. Okay. And their Imperial Can seems to be doing alright. Mine never does. Yeah, I think that's a loss on that one. Even if these were fully repaired, I don't think I'd be able to deal with both of those both of those airships. And they're just dropping bombs by the look of it. Have they got bomb bays? Yeah, that's a bomb bay there. <laughs> that's quite naughty of them. And there's probably another one there. Yeah, that's a bomb bay, yeah. <laughs> okay. We, we've still technically got a target there, but I'm just going to flee. There's no point in um, watching that. So, we can't build the rent. So, of these three areas, which one's the best to attack? That one. The bottom one. Bottom left. Okay. Build ship. No, can't build the end. Why can't I build the end? Oh, and they're assaulting on the right-hand side again with the Zars. See, I'm not getting much assault uh, assaults done because of the <laughs> the sheer amount of uh, amount of um, assaults I'm under. They're flinging loads of stuff at us, and I'm just having to wait for our defenses to deal with it. Which, quite frankly, they're doing a marvelous job at. But one of those we defeated less than five minutes ago. And it's back again. Oh, please don't carve that bit out there because it's going to land on top of me. The Suspendium Rock is helping us out. But eventually... Oh, yeah, that's what I didn't want to see. <laughs> oh, well. At least that was a win. Uh, what we'll do is we'll uh, go to defences and we'll repair those up. Not a lot of repairs, but some. There we are. Um, right, so... Build ship. Why can't we build the ant? Reinforced supply hatch is not available. Where did we get that from? Was it this one? I think it was. I didn't realise it was a reinforced supply hatch, quite frankly. Okay. Um, Design ship. We'll open that. The ant. And we'll get rid of the reinforced... Yeah, it is a reinforced one. I've just never noticed that it was a, a reinforced one. I'm not even going to mark it as the version 2. It's just going to be that one. That's fine. Um, so, yeah, another assault down there. They love trying to assault this one there. I mean, it is closest to their borders. Um, another one. Oh, it's that one we've just seen as well. We've just seen this one. It's one with the Imperial Cannon. Uh, three flak, one cannon on the front. And uh, it, other bits and bobs. So my planes won't fare very well uh, if they keep flying over them uh, over them flak cannons. Although, I was about to say, that one's been a bit smarter and uh, going in between. But, uh, nope, it, uh, it uh, didn't work out so much. That one's also out of ammo now, which is bad. Can't give any orders to these because they're not under command, even though I fully repaired them. Just the design. That must be a fairly heavy beast because it's got two large suspendium chambers. You can see from the two, two uh, things there. Actually, uh, they've also got three cannon. One, two, three, four cannon, in fact. And that's a bigger cannon than the other one. If I had aerial torpedoes, that would actually resolve the issue. Res uh, aerial torpedoes would be a fantastic way to to uh, take them out with because they've got decent accuracy and also they uh, they do a massive amount of explosion damage uh, oh that didn't sound good no it didn't I don't know if I can win this one it's a good vessel that nice little all rounder well armed well armed probably it's not oh, this is not the fastest vehicle in the world but it's also not the slowest certainly not I've built the slowest um, and yeah it's, 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 it's a tough old nut to crack so 
pretty good, pretty good. As you can see though, issue with things on fire, out of ammo, no control, they just sort of picking bits off. And when this Imperial cannon fires, yeah, look, it's actually hitting, unlike mine. Hmm. Need to put some stabilizers to it. But that's pretty much going to be it. Unless... Have I got any weapons? No. That was the last one. That's it, yeah. Oh, no. Hang on. We do still have a weapon there. No, that's it. Defeat. So they've managed to take it over. That's a shame. Um, where are they moving to now? Oh, they're trying to take the clockwork bees out. Right, so... View city here. It is that one. Okay, so let's just get this moved over. Let's see if we can take it out. Invade. Unpause. Yeah, the man should take the clockwork wasps out. But I've only got three areas now. Hopefully, we'll make it a fourth with this one here. So I could spread them out, but I'm not because what I want to do is start this and immediately move them forward to about there and then because we're closer we should get better accuracy but where are they are going look at that they're going down here somewhere <laughs> so not one of those not one of those hit at all that's just disappointing it's really disappointing when that happens honestly you would think some of them would hit what i'm going to do is start spacing them out so when they inevitably do fall out the sky it's uh, not as severe Look at that. I do... Look at that. That's a, that's beautiful. Aren't they? The, the colours are very, very nice there. Right, so... All of these... Currently targeting that. Looks like they have lost some ammo store. And it is on fire. So, we did hit the right point. And also, it looks like they've taken some damage at the back there. Let's speed up to max speed here. And just continue with this on. Oh, there's one of them falling out of the sky. And it's lost its... Uh, lost its engine. That one's lost the front. That one's on fire. That's a problem with the the like, ventral sticky out engine. It, uh, yeah, it, it, it gets destroyed straight away if it ever touches something. Here's some secondary detonations, and that's removed that from the game. However, however, it's going a bit better. I mean, we've pared that down a lot, although, as you can see, it's still got four cannons pointing forward. We've actually taken more cannons out on the back than we have on the front. It is burning from the bottom upwards as well, though. So... It's interesting that it's not actually... There we go. There's that gone. Victory. Wow, okay. Brutal takeover. And we can't build any more ants. There we go. We've taken that out. View the city here, and it's got three of those. Don't think we can do that. Um, in terms of defences, we... Oh, we need to repair those... Oh my good grief, look at the state of that. We're just going to scrap them. There's no reason to uh, keep them about. They're completely and utterly useless. Leave that one there. And we're getting assault from the bottom of the Genericans. This is going to be another one of their big ships. I mean, I know I'm uh, I know I'm know not defending these. I'm not sending my own vessels there. That's because, quite frankly, I can't. I, I need to keep attacking. You know, they say the best form of defense is attack and all that. And mm, maybe that's true. Maybe it's not in this case. I don't really know. But I, all, what I do know is if I'm not attempting to take anything i'm just waiting for them to build up enough forces to hit me because i'm only getting a certain amount of resources a turn same as them but they're just getting a hell of a lot more so yeah although they are spending a lot on their defense and obviously the upkeep of that so yeah that's important to note this thing has been a proper trooper it really has although it's also got the most accurate cannon in the game by the look of it because it seems to hit every time it fires although i don't know if that's Oh no, there it did. It missed there. Maybe it's just my warped perception of it. That seemed to hit. That didn't. I don't think that did either. But I'm slowly managing to chip away at it. Problem though is... Oh, they lost suspendium chamber and another suspendium chamber. They can't fly anymore. But I've only got one rear point weapon that's out of ammo. So they're going to win this. Yeah. And there's a defeat. There's my main thing taken over. Um, quite frankly, I don't know what to do from here. Look at that. Just two two assaults. I'm, I'm moving my stuff back to try and defend that. But that was my main home, home area. And uh, yeah, it's been taken out. As soon as I go here. Uh, do I build more defences here? No. Probably, probably ships. 
build the and. I do like these ants. I think they're quite good. But as you can see, look, I'm on plus 69 resources. It's that's and and I can't. I just can't defend everything. Let's see what's going to happen here. Pull it back to there. Yeah, it's, it's this is over. Sally, I'm afraid to say that um, there's not much I can do. Yeah, there's the Imperial Cannon gone on that one. That one's already got pretty much a tiny little bit there. That's the one we we uh, hit. Oh, they're boarding it as well. Oh, just, just to add insult or injury, put some salt and vinegar in the wound. Thanks very much. <laughs> oh, good grief. Yeah, we'll flee on that one. We can't we can't fight that one. They're going to take over this one now, probably. Although we do have a couple of defences there, but it is my large shipyard. Oh, no, they're just they're reinforcing to there. Um... Yeah, I think, honestly, that's it. There's nothing much I can do now. Well, there's nothing I can do. It's, I think the time's passed. I mean, I just don't have their resources. It's been an uphill... Well, it's been a, it's slowly trending downwards for the last couple of episodes there. They got really big uh, in the first couple of episodes. We really tried to hit them hard. A couple of misplays from my, on my part, and then, you know, it was sort of... It wasn't GG from there, but it was uh, definitely a problem. Definitely a problem. Not to say that I haven't uh, enjoyed trying the different builds out and stuff. I mean... Um, we're, you know, we're winning more than we're losing, that's for sure. But, uh, um, in uh, campaigns, I mean, not not this game, not fights. Uh, but in campaigns, I think we lost a couple and won most of them, so that's fine. Um, yeah, just trying different builds out, probably, or oh, well, the bomber didn't work at all. Uh, the assault vessel didn't really work either. I mean, it was okay, but it had the spiders as well as the, um, other assault guys, but ideally we needed the ones with the hooks so they could swing in rather than having to jump from one side to the other. That was not very good. Uh, so yeah, um, I don't know whether it's just because I haven't played in a while or the, the meta has actually shifted with like different balance changes and things like that and uh, the addition of a couple of different weapons. I don't know if it has because I haven't really done a full campaign for a long time. So yeah, interesting, interesting. I'm going to flee that one and we're just going to wait for them really to stack up. I was just going to quit out, but I, I don't want to I don't want to deny them their their win, really. They're not even stacking up to do anything. You know what I might do? I am. My, my treasury's at minus. <laughs> uh, recall the spies. Recall the spies. Yeah, I'm still at minus. There's nothing I can do. Oh, recall the spy. Minus 31. All I can do, actually, is have um, secret police on that. Nah. I can't even uh, afford to pay the the police to uh, to defend against all the subterfuge stuff, all the spy attacks. But they're not attacking. Come on, come on! I was I was gonna give you this computer. Come on, AI. I mean, they've won fair and square. They've, they've played very well. And now they're just gonna sit there. Okay. You've got 10 seconds to come and attack me, otherwise I'm calling it a GG, and uh, we're going to moral victory it. Cultists. Are you going to then assault the cultists, then me? They're not even going to meet that up and go to me? Oh, here we go. Nope, I'm going straight over the top. <laughs> are they just... Are they just using their defences to try... Yeah, they're sabotaging everything, I think. Nope, they're not going to do it. Right, we're going to call it there. <laughs> I was going to give them benefit of the doubt and see if they attack me. I don't know why, but they're not coming to finish me off. Either way, that has been a bit of airships conquer the skies. A bit of campaign mode there. Um, didn't win, basically, is the uh, the TLDR. Uh, TL didn't, didn't, TLDW didn't watch. Um, have enjoyed it. Have enjoyed making the different designs. Just to clarify, the designs that we made, if we go to uh, build ship, we've made the, uh, the ant, which I think is uh, quite a decent vessel. It's okay. And maybe get rid of that and put one on the back so it's, uh, it can fit in uh, better places. But other than that, it's it's okay. The Bombard is fairly good. In fact, it's probably the best one. It was the first one that we made because it is not overly expensive. It's 2,500 and it's got four cannon on the uh, front. And then you've got your dorsal and ventral turrets as well. And good defense, good armor, decent speed and all, all that sort of stuff. So it's quite good. We've got the bot fly, which I think was very good at what it did, which is take out aircraft. That's what it was for. But other than that, fairly, fairly um, problematic. Uh, the the carrier, no, no. I mean, these marine barracks good, and with all the spider bear, need to replace the marine barracks with uh, 
well, the jetpack guys, but they're really expensive, or more likely the uh, the ones that can, I think it's the spider marines or something, the spider assault guys, where they can uh, fling like a little uh, line and sort of swing in them much better. And then the lank is completely and utterly useless because it tried to do too much and blah, blah, blah. Either way, that's been a bit of airships, as I said. If you want to see more of this, then by all means let me know. I assume the answer is yes, but uh, not by you because you've messed the campaign up. Yes, I do apologise. Hey ho. Uh, can't win them all, can't win them all. Over. I'm happy with uh, the majority of the campaigns but this one just didn't go well but learned a lot of stuff so hopefully when uh, we do get back to this which uh, might be either very very soon might be the next episode for all i know might just restart it up or i might give it a little bit of a break we'll see let me know what you think in the comments and uh, we will as always go from there thank you very much for watching take care and generic partings phil